So the first thing we do when we pull these off the truck, uh, we just do a quick walk around of the barrel, a visual inspection. So what I'm looking for is are the are all the rings tight and everything? Um, are, any, are the bands loose or, or anything? Um, are there any cracks around the barrel? So a lot of times you're gonna see cracks on the stays around the barrel. Sometimes they're, they're really big, deep cracks. Um, sometimes they're just really small hairline cracks. The hairline cracks we're not typically worried about because they don't always go through the staves. Um, usually they hold uh, whiskey or beer or whatever you're gonna put back into it without an issue. If it's a big crack, a lot of times you can see where the barrel leaked at the distillery. So that's a clear sign that that barrel leaked at one point in its life. So after we do a visual inspection, uh, we will turn the barrel over and we don't do this, this uh, inside inspection on every barrel, just a small sample of what comes off the truck so we get a general idea of, of the quality of the barrel. Um, so we'll open up this, this bone here. And what I'm looking for when I open this up is see if there's any uh, liquid left in the, in the barrel and make sure that it smells like strong bourbon. These were just dumped, so they have, should have a really strong aroma. So that's really hot. If you wanna bring that in here, I'll show you what the inside of this looks like. Uh, if you can see that, yep, there's a little bit of liquid sloshing around in there, and that's exactly what we like to see. Uh, it won't take a long for that, that little bit of liquid to soak back into the barrel or evaporate. So um, if you get one that doesn't have liquid in it, don't be concerned. It's still perfectly wet. So this is a great example of a, of a nice, nice wheel barrel. That's exactly what we like to see.